Today is a video on KQ and KSP, which are both different types of equations that tell you about a reaction at equilibrium. So the basics of K KQ and KSP is that first of all understand that for all practical purposes they are both the same. Now, there's probably some technical reason that they're different, but most likely they're the same. So, the idea is that a KEQ equals product in the molarity, these will all be molarities to the power of the coefficient times other products. And you can have as many as you need. Let's say you have 50 products and you'll have 50 terms. And always to the coefficient. In this case, H2's coefficient is 2. And it's over the same thing. Reactants to the coefficient. Oop, that should be two Fs. Etc. So you can see how this gets put into play. KQ. Let's say that we're going to use our favorite equation. Let's say that you have a molarity of 5 for H2 squared times. See? It's easy to mess it up. Let's say you have a molarity of 5 for H2. Let's start this over. Times a molarity of 4 for O2. O2 has a coefficient of 1, so it ha technically has a power of 1. And let's say H2O has a molarity of 6. 6. Just a molarity of 6. And that would be squared. So this means that the KEQ is 36 over 25 times 4 means KEQ equals 36 over 100. And that pretty safely rounds down to a number that is currently escaping me, but now that I can be sh more sure about myself, is 9 over 25. Depending on the teacher, they might want you to turn it into a decimal, but that's not really my style. And there are different things you can do with this number, but really this video is mostly just so you understand what KEQ is, how you can find it. In another video we might talk about when you're given the KEQ, how to find what the numbers are. So yeah, this is that.